vehicle is a Concorde Carver. It's called a Centurion style and it costs quarter of a million euros nearly. It has this uh, enormous garage, but it has a weight only of 250 kilos. Of course, you can get plenty of bikes in there. You can get a motorbike or two in there as well, but it's only 250 kilos. You've got other storage externally. For example, if you want to take some skis or something like that, and you didn't want to put them in the garage for whatever reason, you can get them in there. Because here, the garage, this garage goes all the way from one side of the vehicle to the other. Now, coming up inside, well, before I do that, let's just have a look at the technical stuff. And so there, 816 centimeters long, 238 wide, 358 high. You've got a massive uh, payload of uh, 1,689 kilos. I mean, that, is, that, that's, that really is enormous. You could bring every, everything you've got with that. But uh, let's have a look now inside. Uh, driving position, sensible. Uh, plenty of room above for yourself. It looks as though you are in a room rather than a car. Obviously, that's helped by the fact that they've taken the steering wheel off. But it's panoramic, it's great, and it hasn't got this, what I think, a pointless spare bed that many vehicles have. I'm walking down here to the front, and there is still above my head plenty of clearance. In fact, I can tell it's, a, a, well, it's almost two meters clearance. So that is, uh, that's stupendous. Sitting around the table, now there's only two places in here. I suppose if you've got a vehicle like this, you may want to invite the people who are on, next to you uh, in the VW camper. Uh, coming through the back here, we've got a bed. Now you saw the size of the garage, it's very high. Uh, the bed here is quite low. That's great when you're getting on, on, on in years. You do have a step with a bit of storage under it. On this side, You've got an enormous wardrobe and you've got here this uh, shower. Now, there is a bit of a problem with the shower though. There's only one plug. Now, I know that that looks like a one you've got at home, but you can never really get yourself uh, totally flat and there's always be water sloshing around. Having said that, this is the shower unit by itself. So by the time you've uh, moved off, the water hopefully will have gone down the plug and it's a plug hole and it's not in the same place as the toilet which is a really important feature should you so desire you can close this door here and you can nip out of the toilet and into the shower so i think that's a, that's an excellent feature here uh, within the toilet itself there's mirrors all around i think maybe you'd want uh, mirrors in a uh, bathroom rather than having a window. I like a window as well, uh, but mm, hard, hard to arrange it. There is a skylight, so you can't look at the stars while being in here, should that be your desire. You've got plenty of space as well for all your um, uh, soaps and what have you. You've got a little thing in here, as well as beside the toilet, which is porcelain, I think. Now, let's close that, there's me in the mirror, and, well, um, in the bedroom you've also got, you've got a, a telly. Now it's one of these beds we can sort of join together or not, if you don't want to sleep with the person you're sleeping with, then you can pull this thing here up, and you, uh, you've got, also you've got this um, spring system, uh, like Frawley um, do, uh, which is, uh, it gives, much more comfort than most motorhomes can offer. I think they're getting something like that myself, actually. I think it's important to keep your back uh, healthy. Now, obviously, if you like the lighting or not, it's a matter of taste. I think it's, there's plenty of light coming through here. Um, it's LED, and I think it's just the sort of thing that one would uh, need. Anyway, great lounge, and uh, although it's quarter of a million, that's a lot of money.